again I don't want to be sick I don't want to have to take loads and loads of medications in order to keep my body stable until I can receive another transplant and I told the doctors I want to die I know that's nothing to play with but in that moment that's what I felt hi guys welcome back to my YouTube I guess I can say welcome back. My name is Dawn Raven and I want to give just a quick recap. I will link my old video so you can catch up on why I'm even here in the first place. Let's just do a quick recap. I live in Los Angeles pursuing my dreams as an artist, which is a lifelong dream for me. I go by Dawn Raven, but my legal name is actually Dawn Evans. That's what I went by when I was a professional basketball player. If you're here and you already know who I am, then it's a huge chance that you know me attached to basketball in some way, shape, or form. Well, it's true. I'm a hooper. I can't escape it. But I do more than just the ball tricks. I've spent countless days in a gym perfecting that craft. And it took me as far as becoming a professional basketball player. I'm blessed to say that I have that title. But during my basketball career, I became extremely sick. I'll link that video so you can get the background of that story. People knew me as a basketball player who had kidney disease. And being that I spent most of my life competing, that's what I chose to do when I knew that I had this disease. I competed for the freedom of my life, to not live my life as some sickly, incapable person, I made the choice to fight through it and to understand that this is my circumstance but I'm definitely gonna make the best of it. So, by the grace of God, I received a kidney transplant. And after my recovery, I headed off to LA to pursue another dream. A dream that I had even before basketball and a lot of people are unaware of that. They've known me to be a basketball player and now that I'm living in LA pursuing this artistry they're like oh change of career. No actually I used to live in LA as a young child pursuing a career as an actress. So I took the opportunity because anything that happens in your life it's about perspective and I saw me having a transplant as an opportunity to pursue my dreams five wonderful years in LA, back in action with my dreams, I got sick. Originally I thought I just had the flu. I thought what was going on with my transplant was great, but come to find out I had kidney failure again and I was not happy about it. But I traveled to the doctor and once they told me that my kidney had failed, I had a decision to make. I can't lie, my first decision was I don't want to do this. I don't want to experience this. I don't want my body to be cut again. I don't want to be sick. I don't want to have to take loads and loads of medications in order to keep my body stable until I can receive another transplant. And I told the doctors, I want to die. I know that's nothing to play with, but in that moment, that's what I felt. I, if this is going to kill me, I prefer that route than to fight. It was a moment of weakness. We all have it. I had a moment of weakness. But now I had to decide what route I was going to take to fight through this again. And while I wanted to stay in Los Angeles so I can continue to pursue my dreams where I feel like that place is best fit for me in that moment, I couldn't. I had to leave to go to where I could receive the best care, where people were familiar with me, where I could get the care that I needed to live a, a good life. Honestly, it took me a while to even make this blog because the disease and now being on dialysis and while I'm waiting for my transplant, it's taken a physical toll on my body. I've lost weight. 
Also, when you have kidney issues, it causes edema, which is swelling of the body. And each person is different when it comes to where you hold the swelling in your body. And for me, I hold it in my face, in my eyes, in my eyelids. That's pretty common actually is in the eyelids of kidney patients. But for me, I hold it down here in my face. So my physical features have changed and I hid from it. I was in LA living with this kidney disease on dialysis, on hemodialysis, and some of the closest people to me didn't know. And the only time that I would go out is after hemodialysis treatment and my swelling was down because it had removed the fluid from my body and people couldn't notice. People couldn't notice, but I could still notice. Those were the thoughts that consumed me like, oh my God, let me hide from this. Oh God, I'm people, I'm gonna go on my auditions and people are gonna see me as somebody who looks a way that I didn't approve of because I don't look like myself. And that part was hard because I made this whole situation about me. And the truth is, none of the things that happen to us are just about us just about, oh, woe is me, this is happening to me, this is all about me. No, none of it. It took me a while to come into that, but I wanna live my life with purpose. So if only one person sees this video and it has an effect on them and it helps them because you will go through something in your life, everybody has something. It doesn't have to be an illness. It can be a loss of a family member. It can be an emotional trauma, but everybody has their own story and journey. And if you don't make the most of it, it will consume you and it'll take over you. And ultimately your life will be miserable anyway. So make the most of it. And that's what I wanna do. I want to put a face to this that shows people strength, shows perseverance, shows love shows success and also and also shows the sadness and the struggle because that is what builds the strength in you and the courage in you i didn't realize how strong i was until this happened to me so i want to share it with you and if you know someone who's also dealing with kidney disease i'm going to touch on all those things there's a lot of things that you have to learn as a dialysis patient. I've done both hemodialysis and now I'm currently on peritoneal dialysis, which is in-clinic dialysis to in-home dialysis. The actual process of it is completely different and I will be able to share that with you of how it's different and maybe help those of you that are on dialysis or those of you who are now experiencing kidney failure, you can make those decisions and I can kind of give you insight to what you could expect with those things. If you're watching this, I love you. Everything is going to be okay. Just fight. And if you are living to see tomorrow, you have an opportunity to change your life, change your perspective, and do any and everything that your heart desires. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be posting videos on a weekly basis every Monday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Make sure you tap in. I hope to see you guys in my next video.